Hi, my name is Alex with Date Tech, Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be answering the question, can an epic have a subtask? I'm willing to bet that the answer is going to interest you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if your mind is blown like mine was, let me know in the comment section below. Also, I'm sure you're noticing my Got Jira t-shirt. I have an official merch store. The link is in the description below. Get this one, get one of each. I have multiple designs. Get one for yourself, get one for your spouse, get one for your coworkers, get one for your team, get one for everybody you know. It really does help support the channel. Also, I have paid trainings now available. So check out the link in the description below as well, where I have three trainings for various different topics. And so pick the one that's interesting to you and I'll see you in my next class. All right, now let's jump into Jira. So here I am inside of Jira and I am inside of an Epic. You can tell that I'm inside of an Epic because I have the little Epic icon here. Now, normally when you are inside of a story, I'm going to open up a story real quick just for the purpose of this demonstration. When you are inside of a story, you have the button to create a subtask. This is natural intended behavior. Subtasks belong to stories, tasks, or bugs. That is just how Jira works. So this is there, this is present. But when we go over to the Epic, you'll notice that we don't have a button for that. Even if I click this little ellipses, this is for an app. This is to link an issue, which is not what we want. And this is to add a child issue. Now you may be thinking, well, that's the subtest, but no. The child issue, if you're looking at the hierarchy in Jira, it goes Epic, your story, then your subtask. So when you click on that add child issue, you're not going to add a subtask. You're going to add a story, which is technically considered the subtask of an epic. But that's not the same thing. Your hierarchy here is very strict. It's epic, story, subtask. And an epic cannot go directly to the subtask. It just can't bypass the story. It's not designed that way. So the answer to the question of can an epic have a subtask, the straight surface level answer is no, it's not possible. But the fine folks of the internet, always blowing my mind, actually have a really interesting workaround. So check this out. If you take a story, and you can do this with a story or with an existing subtask, but I'm gonna do the story because I think this route's a lot easier. So this is what I'm gonna demonstrate. So if you take a story like this one, right? We have our TJC-11, and this is install the tub, right? Now this is currently a story. So that means that the story will show up in your backlog when you're planning your sprints. This is intended behavior. This is how Jira works. Only your stories, tasks, and bugs will show up in your backlog. But if you, for whatever reason, and again, I don't know why you would want to do this. It seems silly to me, but what do I know? I've only been using Jira for six years and being a scrum master for 12. So I would personally not recommend what I'm about to do. So that's my legal disclaimer flashing on the screen here, legal disclaimer, do not do this unless you accept an unintended consequences, which I don't know what they may be because I'm just giving you the answer. So proceed at your own or caution at your own peril here because I don't know what kind of consequences this is going to have. All I can tell you is this is the technical way of doing the adding an, a subtask to an epic. So check this out. If we open up a story, we're going to come over here to the ellipses and we're gonna convert that story to a subtask, okay? And so all we gotta do is open up a story that does not have subtasks already because the subtask can't be like that. So let's try to find a story that doesn't have a subtask like this one. Come over here to the actions. We'll convert it to a subtask. And then all you gotta do is literally type in the key for your epic and then click next, select the issue and then click next. Once you do that, this is gonna tell you not required, so click next again. And now it's basically gonna tell you that you're gonna take a story and you're gonna convert it to a subtask with the new parent, the epic. And when you click finish, we're gonna be redirected to the what is now the subtask. So the key stays the same, but the issue type changed, so now it's a type subtask. But now check out the parent. The parent, when it was a story, was still TJ6, but now, Instead of it showing up here, we do not see TJC 12. Instead, if we keep going down, 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 you're gonna see a subtask section. And there you're gonna find my TJC-12. 
So this is super interesting, okay? I did not know that this was possible until I started doing the research for this video. Again, I would caution you against it. The, the proper, the right way to do it is to do the epic to the stories, then the stories have the subtasks. Because if you remember, the epic describes a really, really big what. It's a novel, it's an epic. The story describes what needs to be done that is deliverable within the sprints or the compounds of a sprint. And then the subtask explains how to do something. And these are a little bit more intimate. These are for the developer to kind of figure out, give themselves a little checklist of how they want to solve this problem. Jira shouldn't care too much about the subtasks and you shouldn't either. If you're like an owner, a scrum master or a project manager, and you're like, I want to see those subtasks. They're, they're good, but you shouldn't, you shouldn't rely on them. But anyways, yeah, so that's how you do that. That I, I was very surprised. I did not know that this was possible. Really interesting fact though, just to kind of take you guys into a little story here. Back in 2021, when I was interviewing for a position as a Jira admin, they actually asked me if it was possible to add a, a subtask to an Epic. And my answer was no, because the internet will tell you no. If you Google it, it'll tell you no. But unless you know this workaround here, it's not possible. So this is an interesting answer and hopefully you find it beneficial. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. If you haven't already and you made it this far into this video, please consider subscribing as both liking the video and subscribing to the channel helps the channel grow tremendously. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, specifically if you already knew this, if you already knew how to do this, let me know in the comment section below. I'm really interested to find out who knew this already and who was using it already. And most importantly, why? Like, I don't understand why you would want to add a subtask to an epic. It just doesn't make sense to me. But anyways, let me know down below. And finally, check out the merch store, get your Got Jira t-shirt, get one of all the different designs that I have, support the channel, check out the paid courses that I have available as well, take a class with me, come learn so much more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.